I'm Eugene Arana. I graduated in 2014, and I'm an associate producer for ESPN. When I was a student at St. Thomas, sports coverage really didn't exist. Um, it had been played around with, but that didn't exist at the time. So what myself and my, some of my colleagues decided to do was to begin covering the sports, having a camera there, doing play-by-play, -play, running graphics, keeping score, so on and so forth. I got directly involved. Um, I decided to start doing PA work, but then started broadcasting the games. Um, uh, at one point, I, I, as I drive in, I'm glancing at the, at the booth and I see this nice like press box. Back in the day, there was no press box. All we had was just that one desk, myself panning the camera left and right and doing the play-by-play -play at the same time, trying to get everything together and trying to make it as seamless as possible. Very difficult, but it was fun. Two of the things that I think in the professional world I can link back to my university experience here at St. Thomas. First and foremost, versatility. And I think that's, that's, that's a big skill that I learned here that I was able to take to ESPN. Since we have limited resources, you have to wear many hats when you're operating a small operation. So once you go to, let's say, a bigger network, now you do have the resources. So now the skills that you developed in that small setting where you had to be versatile, now you have the resources and now all of that comes together. This summer, uh, well, for the last three summers, I've been sent to Las Vegas to do the NBA Summer League. And the cool thing about it is I don't do the regular season NBA, which would be really fun, but yeah, you know, walk in, LeBron James is right there. I could reach out my arm to him and I could, you know, I could probably like touch him in the arm or something. So tall, yeah, right, I should do this. But, but yeah, like the access and being around that, you're like, wow, like I'm a kid in a candy store right now. And it happens all the time. Like for one time at Wild World Sports, I'm not based in Bristol anymore. I'm in Orlando and I walk into one of the random trailers just going to work, ready to log into my computer, open the door, Jameis Winston and his four offensive linemen, just there chilling, you know, going over plays, like it's all good. So that that's definitely the payoff, is that everywhere you turn, it's somebody that you know, somebody that you grew up watching, um, uh, and, and nothing beats that. I, I love that every single time I come back to St. Thomas, it grows more and more, little by little, but still, like, every single time I come, literally every single time I come here, there's something new that I see that, oh, that wasn't there when I was when I was going to school. I see that they have like this real cool setup, a newer laptop, these cool cameras. Now there's three people doing the broadcast. That wasn't the case when I was going to school, but it makes me so proud to see that the students are, have an interest, um, that want to continue the program, that genuinely enjoy what they're doing, and that they have better resources to do it. Because why? More students are gonna filter through. More students are gonna come and are gonna be interested in doing that. And that's great for the university and great for the students ultimately. From the minute you're born, time is ticking. So it's what you do with that time, you know? And if you use that time into something that you're, you have a genuine interest in, you know, and you, you, you have genuine curiosity in, that's gonna naturally push you to, to where you wanna, it's gonna make those hard moments easy, easier. You know, it could still work at the end of the day, you know, it's still gonna work. But if it's something that you find that it's worth investing your time, then you'll find yourself doing whatever it takes to get forward.